the check. If it wasn't for the mask, I wouldn't be dressed like this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the mask really helps, especially since we're at our local grocery store. Thank God the grocery store isn't that busy, but like at the same time, I don't give a shit. Okay, wait. this is what I need. I'm waiting for you, you were on your phone. You are taking pictures. Hello you guys, what is up? So it is currently like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm starting this really late and honestly I was just resting this morning because of my infection. So I was just taking things really slow, but now I'm just going to start vlogging a bit. Yeah, so today I'm just going to bring you guys along because it's just going to be a chill day. I'm going to get a little bit of work done, but not going to take anything too seriously. I'm going to sit my butt down on the couch for the rest of the day probably, but that's the beauty of my job. So I get to work on the couch, which is amazing. So we're going to do that okay this is like a really random fact but did you know that you should brush your hair for five minutes a day apparently it's healthy for your scalp and it's healthy for just your hair in general if you take the time and brush it for five minutes a day you know when you get like greasy on your roots so by brushing it out you're like spreading the grease down <laughs> to like your ends to get them nourished and i think it's also because sometimes when people get greasy they get a lot of dandruff and stuff so by pulling that grease down your head and by kind of like massaging your scalp scalp like brushing is kind of like massaging your scalp it like distributes everything so it's not just like clogged up in your scalp and they said that people with curly hair who like can't necessarily brush their ha hair out or else it'll become like frizzy so what to do is basically just like take your hands and like massage instead of brushing and just like you know run it through a little bit just like massage your scalp for five minutes a day if you guys have curly hair and are unable to brush it out yeah so that's what i'm just gonna do right now Now the oil is evenly distributed through my hair. Not really though, because my hair is actually pretty greasy today, but whatever. Also, we literally, like me and my sister, go through like a bottle of dry shampoo a day. Like I'm not even joking you, dry shampoo does not last. This is the one that we use. It's like the best dry shampoo, but we go through it so fast. It's also because she literally uses it like freaking nothing. Like I literally wake up to her in the morning spraying her hair because that's how much she puts in her hair. So it's basically her that uses it all. And then when I want to have some, barely any left. I literally come downstairs to eat to be greeted by these beautiful puppies. Oh my goodness, they look delicious. Let's try one. Thank you, Madison. You're the best. Mm, delish. I bought this giant bottle of kombucha today when we went grocery shopping. Oh God, please don't explode. I've never got like a giant bottle like this before. Usually I'll just buy like the individuals, but the reason why I got so much kombucha is because apparently when you're on like antibiotics and stuff, like obviously the antibiotics kill your bacteria, but by doing that, they also kill your good bacteria. So stuff like this, which is fermented, apparently it's like helps replace that good bacteria. So I got kombucha and I got yogurt because those are supposed to be like probiotics. I'm gonna be drinking this up today. I need to sit down. I'm starting to feel a little gut-wrenching. It's like the only word that I can describe it. It's like gut-wrenching. <gasps> hey, you guys, don't mind me. Oh, she's so cute. I've just been like relaxing today. I did a little bit editing. <gasps> no, don't go. You want me in the video? Um, like I was saying, I was just like kind of editing. We did a little bit of editing today. Mostly, I mostly just rested because I needed to just catch up on sleep today. But I just like have this sudden urge. No, don't go. <laughs> but I've just had like this spontaneous urge to travel. Like I just want to go somewhere. Like thinking about my job, I work like remotely. Like I work on the road. Like I don't need work from anywhere specific because my job is online. I can do it on my laptop. Therefore, I have the luxury of going anywhere and working from anywhere which is like so beautiful and feel like i need to take advantage of that honestly i just want to go somewhere for a bit of time and maybe come back home and then go out to a new place and just discover the world and live my life i just really want to do something spontaneous and then that makes for such good vlogs i can do travel vlogs like oh 
my gosh. Just like sometimes in life, you can't worry about the money or your next step. You just kind of, sometimes you just got to do it and then just see where life takes you from there. If you think about it, like you're only here once, so might as well live it up. Like if I decided to like go somewhere and like live there for a short amount of time, it would be like natural for me to think of like things like, oh no, am I going to run out of money? Things like that. And it's like, sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith and you just got to trust that things are just going to work out for you and you're going to be taken care of. And I feel like sometimes taking that leap of faith is so important. You just got to go into it with a confident mindset and have no doubts and just know that things will flow your way. You will attract good things. Not going to lie, I've been looking like on Airbnb and stuff for monthly stays like in places and I just really want to go somewhere. It's so cool how I can like vlog and put that on the internet and also do my editing job from anywhere. Anyways, point being, I just want to travel. I just want to get out. I just want to do something. Like not just a vacation, not a two-week vacation. Like I want to go somewhere for like two, three months and discover it. Maybe come back, go out again. Like oof, I want to go. Who wants to come with me? I use this new sunscreen today and it's making me like really greasy. Kind of gross, but it's fine. Taking deep breaths is just so clearing. I don't know if that makes sense, but like just imagine you're inhaling good things when you're exhaling, that's like all your anger or anxiety coming out of you. It's just so therapeutic. Wish there was a good sunset today, but I don't think that it's gonna be nice today, unfortunately. It's just kind of cloudy. <clears throat> <sighs> So we did a thing. We ordered pizza. Mm-hmm. That's just the way it goes sometimes, you know? The sky is very pretty today. It's really bright. It's not quite a sunset yet. Let's make a bet, Joel. Do you think it's gonna be a nice sunset today? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be decent actually. You think? It actually might be nice. I kinda take that back what I said before. Well, I hope there's a good one. I really do. Got the goods. Secured the bag. Tell them about our spontaneous desires recently. Well, I think, uh, you know, before in the past when I wanted something or wanted to do something, I would kind of put it off because I just thought like, well, I can't, I can't just do that. Oh, oh my God, wait. I was just thinking like, if I want to do something, I would always just say, well, I can't do that now because I want to wait for me to be financially stable or whatever to do that. But then I'm thinking like, well, the whole point of life is to experience it and do it. And realistically, if I did the things that I wanted to do, it wouldn't really affect me as much as I believe it would. I just feel like when you want something, if, if you really want that, you should just go do it because why, why wouldn't you do it? As long as you're able to afford it obviously but it's like before it's like stuff I was able to afford even I would just say like oh, like a bit you, expensive for me right now or you'd put like doubt you know, in your mind yeah not that it. not that I can't afford it but I just thought like oh maybe not maybe I'll wait till later but it's like why should we wait let's start doing it now yeah basically we're just feeling really spontaneous seriously life is too short not to do something because you can die tomorrow you can die tomorrow you don't know when you're gonna die so point being do what you want to do because you never know like what can happen you never know how much time you have left the point of being on this earth is to have a great happy life and yes you do have to obviously have money to survive and all of that stuff at the same time people focus their whole lives on just that and they get caught up in this cycle the cycle of stress and the cycle of worry i don't want to be caught up in that cycle i want to live my life to the fullest i can anyways we're gonna go eat our pizza so let's go this smells so good Why, hello you guys. It is the next day and I was honestly feeling very shitty the whole entire day, but I am feeling a little better now. But I'm gonna show you guys the peanut butter bars, finally, the recipe that I've been talking about this past few vlogs that I've failed to show you guys. And we're gonna make them now. How good are these peanut butter bars? Like, you, you got you out of value. They're so good. Like, They're like, especially if you make them with regular peanut butter and not like healthy peanut butter, they literally taste like a Reese's cup. You do have the option, like you can make them with the real raw peanut butter 
butter or you can make them with like the craft shit unhealthy peanut butter we chose to make them the last time with the unhealthy peanut butter and milk chocolate but you can do healthy peanut butter and dark chocolate to make them like really really healthy so it's up to you it's up to you how healthy you want to go but i think we're gonna just do the, it the same as last time because we have a lot of that peanut butter left and we also have milk chocolate so so good let's get cooking also i have really greasy hair like it's really bad don't mind that we're gonna be washing her soon yeah joel came up to me he's like is your hair wet i'm like no <laughs> it's disgusting Okay, y'all, so that is how you make the peanut butter bars. Also, Justin Bieber's album recently released. Some of the songs are so bomb. I'm gonna play one for you right now and just have a little dance party. Okay guys, so that is it for today's vlog. I feel like that was really short, but the next one will be better. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed anyways, and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much, and I hope you guys have a great day, evening, morning, wherever you're at. Yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Okay, so when I was cutting my hair, I realized that like we didn't like feather these enough into my hair Like the ends are too thick. So I'm gonna be getting out the scissors and I'm gonna be doing that right now Also fun fact, but really sad fact. I literally still have my hair like it's literally in my cover Like I've had it since I cut it. I don't know why I don't want to get rid of it It's kind of creepy. I just put it back in anyways So I'm pretty sure all I have to do is like snipe the ends, you know, like I'm gonna try your best don't know if that did anything.